Excuse me. How many times a day are, does your staff hose this down? What? Two times. Please. Two times? How, how long have you guys been doing that? How long take to clean the whole block? What? How long take to clean the whole block? No, I mean for how many years? Oh, not, not a year yet. Excuse About me. a year? Not yet. Excuse me. So it started like a year ago in October? That's totally incorrect. When did they start closing down? Uh, I don't know. I lost track of time, but it, uh, there was many, many weeks where we stayed here and they didn't do that at all. Okay, and that was early part of the summer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's easy to get from the staff records. So you you think the hosing is um, just to, to harass the people there's sleeping a few, there? There's a few reasons. Um, it it disturbs whatever sort of. Uh, Situation we're involved with in the meantime. We have to pick up all of our belongings and leave. It makes us look uh, dirty, unkempt, which some areas are, but like they even hose down when it's raining, which is really weird. Um, it also is like psychological. Like I stayed out here for a couple months and it makes you feel like an animal and it brings you down. Wow. Are you are you um, aware that in the Episcopal Church there's a baptismal covenant that is the foundation for the theology of how we are to treat each other? Yeah. Everyone who's baptized in the church makes this promise, and the most important promise is to respect the dignity of every human being. Do you feel this respects the dignity? Yeah. I am a Christian, not Episcopalian, but that's part of the reason why I'm not here, is because it's mind-boggling. The hypocrisies. I, I've even attended a few of the services and like it's just crazy. If, if you were as a Christian, I mean or just as a person, if you were to make a list of the harassment techniques employed by Trinity Wall Street and CEO Jim Cooper, what, just off the top of your head, what would you say? What are the harassment techniques used against you? I mean, I I'm subjected to them, but I think they're a lot more subtle than we realize. It's, um, it's humiliation. Um, it's just constant oppression in every form. Like, you can't be there. You need to wake up. You can't be there. Um, closing us down. I don't know what these tactics would be called. I just know that it's, it's constant. The lights, sleep deprivation. The lights, sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation um, stealing things, right? They call the white shirts. They, they take all of our things. The library has been thrown out so many times, which is why it's not here anymore. Which is against the law because it's not illegal to have free books. Even if you're selling them, you don't need a license, much less giving them away for free. So, and I know that the white shirts and Trinity are in cahoots. You see them standing corner meeting together. Have you seen clergy speaking to white shirts and no, then have the I've white seen, shirts do an action? No, I've, I've seen the, um, the security, the main security guy, I don't know his name, but he'll talk to white shirt Papa Michael on the corner 